Michigan, who put this structure together, developed the constitution and bylaws, and it's still, uh, since 67, this is still in the same, same phase. We do, uh, time to time, add the bylaws in, uh, to accommodate the changing environment and explosion of a Muslim demographic mm -hmm. in Houston, whereas we had one masjid in whole Houston to now we have uh, probably close to 80 masajids. Mm -hmm. And out of the 80, we have 18 major masajids, mm -hmm. major, which has several acres of land, which have schools, uh, full-time schools, uh, clinics, mm -hmm. uh, free clinics there, as well as uh, different programs, the Darus programs, the marriage uh, counseling, uh, and uh, all the, the other social activities which are required by the Muslim families, mm -hmm. that those are uh, being uh, provided by the Islamic society. And you ask about uh, uh, cemetery, right. and that's uh, one of the things we have, mm -hmm. uh, is, uh, is also uh, all the burials in the Houston uh, area, all the Muslims, and even the people come from outside. Mm -hmm. We have a burial facility where we bury uh, the Muslim brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Also have a facility to send the bodies overseas, which we do to send uh, bodies in case they want to uh, mm -hmm. ship because uh, because of the hospital center. Right. A lot of uh, patients come here in the cancer area from Middle East mm -hmm. when they passed away or what. We ship the bodies uh, overseas. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have uh, another major function, which is uh, Eid Salah. Mm -hmm. This is the only probably city in the United States, the major city in the United States, where we have each lot at the one single place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all the, all the whole Houston actually gather at the one, one place. Mm -hmm. But I asked you also, your model of organization, why is it important that large communities and major cities in the America should have some kind of structure and an organization? Well, I, <clears throat> I believe that it's based on the, the, the need uh, of the, the, the society and the community, and uh, as the, the, the people try to fulfill that void of a need, mm -hmm. and they build a smaller masjid, they're smaller, and it become the territorial masjid, masjid or part of that masjid become independent. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Houston, this model was from when there were only 20 people when we prayed. Our first masjid was an Aratko chap chapel, mm -hmm. which was uh, by, m provided by uh, Aratko chapel is a, as a, basically a chapel, mm -hmm. and they're the one who provided uh, as a room for mm -hmm. first prayer. The, and then we, we, from there, we started branching out, since Houston is a very spread out city. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> uh, approximately now 30 miles from the center to to outskirt mm -hmm. in each direction. If you draw a circle from here, it's just about 30 miles in each direction. Mm -hmm. And the, they see the value into the governance of this organization in a single body. And the people who uh, come to it are elected position, not because you donated a certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. And the, one of the one of the, the proudest thing about this ISGH is most of the fund we ever raised is from United States. Mm -hmm. We do have in in our our bylaws that we do not accept the donations mm -hmm. from outside. And that was from the inception. From the inception. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe somebody else can talk a bit about the mission statement, the vision of the uh, Islamic Center here of. Uh, Greater Houston. We consider ourselves to be the platform Islamic, of Islamic work in the uh, city of Houston. Mm -hmm. We host all kind of activities, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, you know integration in the society, mm -hmm. uh, holding seminars uh, to like law enforcement agencies and others mm -hmm. to integrate and understand Islam. Uh, we do a lot of social activities, mm -hmm. plus the idea that he said uh, previously. Yes. And uh, we, our goal is to uh, 
uh, propagate the right understanding of Islam in the city, mm -hmm. in the state of Texas, and the nation at large. What are some of the activities you do to participate in the community at large, kind of outreach, but just being good citizens? What are the type of activities you, you participate we have, in? We have great relations with the elected officials, mm -hmm. whether it's in the uh, 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 con uh, Congress, yes. whether it's uh, in, the in, the, I mean, in the city level, like the mayor, mm -hmm. and city elected officials. We integrate, we, I mean, we visit each other. Mm -hmm. We have uh, uh, like quarterly meetings with them. Yes. And every time there's a function, we invite them. Mm -hmm. So we have a good uh, uh, relation uh, with, with all these. Uh, I mean, we are very, very aware that we have to be a fundamental part of the society. Okay, I think the brother wanted to add something. We, <coughs> this one, uh, this is a rebuilt uh, masjid, mm -hmm. uh, and the inauguration three years ago was mm -hmm. done by the mayor, mm -hmm. uh, and the city council was all present here. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we once a year we do uh, iftar mm -hmm. in the city hall, mm -hmm. where all the city council as well as uh, the people from other faith, mm -hmm. interfaith ministries and also the congressmen, uh, police uh, chiefs, they all participate. Mm -hmm. And it's open for, and we have uh, about 1,000 to 1,300 people comes and have iftar. Mm -hmm. And amazingly, uh, a lot of council people fast that day mm -hmm. and because they're learning about the, the, the uh, fasting. Non-Muslims. Non-Muslims. Right. right. And uh, last time we had uh, six, actually, three councilmen and three uh, elected uh, uh, state and federal elected officials, they say that we, we have. But let me, let me ask the brother, when the people who are not Muslim, when they, they, they try to get a feeling for what it's like to fast, do you get any feedback from them about how they felt and the experience they took away from that? Yes, alhamdulillah, it's a very good feedback we get from them. And mm -hmm. like, they, first they're surprised at how we do it all day and for the whole month. Mm -hmm and especially that keeps you away from all the sins, you know, the normal sins that people do, backbiting, you know, talking bad about other people, doing other uh, small sins. But they, you know, they're very surprised and very, you know, at the end of the day, they're very happy that they did that because mm -hmm. it gives them some energy and it encourages them, you know, for um, other good deeds that they p want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, it, it cleans your it cleans your your body also, mm -hmm. and that's what is refreshing for us as well as. And they feel that, and they actually convey that they, to you. Yes. But let me ask you, in terms of outreach and being Muslim American citizens, why is it for important for Muslim Americans to do that? Well, we are part of this community. Mm -hmm. uh, we cannot uh, isolate ourselves with this local community, and that's why I think these brothers told you about it. We are also part of uh, interfaith ministries over here in Houston. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we give donations to them. We uh, serve food for the needy people, which is the me uh, we, uh, Meals on the Wheels program mm -hmm. that they have. Mm -hmm. and, and we go into the local uh, uh, areas where there are poor people, mm -hmm. and we feed them almost on a monthly basis mm -hmm. to provide them. And, you see, it gives us, uh, gives them, it shows them how Muslims are, what Muslims are, and not just that a label that we have gotten after 9-11 that we are just only terrorists, mm -hmm. but we do all the good deeds in the community and be part of it. Right. There are uh, times that we have done with our council member, MJ Khan, cleaning up the city. You have a council member, MJ Khan, he's yes, Muslim? he's a yes. Muslim, alhamdulillah. Mashallah. He's been there for, this is I think his third, third term mm -hmm. in the city council. Mm -hmm. And he arranges mostly to clean up the city, clean up the streets, painting, you know, all these garbage pickups. And from this community, there's good participation in those Alhamdulillah, things. yes, Mashallah. on a regular basis. Mashallah. Not just that one individual or one person does it, but the whole community is involved in it. Right. But let me ask about your community here. I understand you have some schools here you've established. I just want to know a bit about the importance of establishing Islamic schools and what your